Okay, welcome back guys. Our head is just starting to look absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited for you guys. Yay. Okay, round number 28. Are you ready for this one? This one is another easy one. This one, because we want to keep the rim nice and tight, we're going to go... Oops, my ring just got caught up in the, in the yarn. Okay, what we're going to do now is make your chain one at the beginning, like you've been doing every round. And we're going to go ahead and go one single crochet in between your two double crochets with the V. See that? What we're doing is now in every space, don't don't put them in here in, the, in your stitches. Put them in between the spaces. Single crochet in each space. See there? In each space. We're not going to put them on top of the stitches. We're going to put them in each space. See? Makes it look real pretty. In each space, we're going to do one single crochet. Not in every stitch, but in every space. See how nice and firm our rim is getting and it will show the pattern real nice. Each space. There we go. Sure, getting a really nice shape, our heads. I hope your head's looking the same and you're happy with your work. Make sure you let me know how you guys are doing on the comments. Also, if you would like to share what kind of remedies, how do you do, how do you keep for your neck to hurt and your back to hurt? Because I know a lot of you crocheter been uh, crocheting for quite some time. I've seen all that beautiful work you've been doing, especially the purses and other beautiful work. So I know you guys are spending hours and hours crocheting. Maybe it's just because I'm getting old. Well, I'm not getting old, I am old. But nevertheless, what kind of remedies do you have besides stretching and having cushions? I'm sure there's a whole kind of, everybody got their own little secret how they can spend hours and hours doing a lot of crocheting in each sitting. See? Once you get it all pressed down real nice, it will stay. You just keep going into each space. If you leave me notes on the, um, on the comments, I'm going to take me a minute to respond because I have to translate everything since I don't read other languages. So be patient and I'll be more than happy to respond. And then also go on my Facebook. There you can share pictures. Don't forget that. In between, I always try to straighten out my my rim. There we go. Because I'm such a tight crocheter. 
I gotta make sure I keep my work in shape and don't stretch it and abuse it. There we go. Also, let me know how long you guys been on YouTube. And uh, you're welcome to leave your links of your channels under the comments so we can visit each other's and subscribe to each other's channels and share and like do all the great things because everybody works just so hard and i think we need to support each other that's what this is all about right takes a village not only to raise children but it takes a village to make a compute community work functional beneficiary and youtube is a community okay look at here see if you stretch them out once you get it done it will stay you're gonna have such a nice rim once we have it done. Once we get all the way around it. Okay, we made it at the end of round number 28. Okay, let's connect. I do my back loop, slip stitch, then I grab and go through the whole stitch and make another slip stitch. That's how I've been doing it chain one that was the end of round number 28 we are coming to our end round number 29 guess what we can do one more round of single crochet all the way around in each stitch now okay so let's get with it one single crochet in each stitch that gives us a nice stiff rim well there
Okay. Then our next round, it's going to lay, lay it down even flatter. It's going to flatten itself out very quickly. And then we're going to put our ribbon on. You do know if you want to make your rim wider, you just add a couple more rounds. But I think this is sufficient. It really is just a matter of taste, you know. But yeah, after this round, see, it's starting to be really pretty. You can do a round of slip stitch. And then we can go ahead and weave our ribbon in. And guess what? And then we are all done. Yay! Okay guys, I will see you in the end of round 29. See you in a few. Okay guys, we went ahead and finished round number 29. We are coming to our last round, round number 30. And now round number 30 is our last one. We are going to do one slip stitch all the way around it and that's how we're going to finish it and then we're going to i'm going to show you how to put the ribbon in it on your head what you do is you need two times going around and enough for you to do your your bow Okay, so that's about as much as you need for your for your head. But that comes after we go ahead and finish our slip stitch. Isn't that pretty? We have a pretty, pretty head. Okay. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, you can wear it so many times here. We're not gonna make no um, chain at the beginning because we're doing slip stitch. And I like to do the split slip stitch just on the, the upper loop. See that? Just do it right here like this. I think it's so much prettier. Just the back of your loop. See, back of your stitch. Just make slip stitches. Just makes it just such a pretty finishing. See there? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes, we are almost done. 30 rounds is not that much. You can do that in one sitting, the couple of bathroom breaks. It can be done. You'll see if you sell them you better learn how to go quickly because these heads they are very big hit especially here in the south you know we have that hot weather and that sun be beating down and if you have the masonry yarn that this cotton polyester it keeps you so nice and cool that shaded that rim puts down on you. It's just perfect. They also make really nice church heads. Church ladies they like them. I make them in white and silver mix. You've seen them on my trio. 
they're just really really big hits okay guys go ahead do you finish your last row and I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to weave in our ribbon see you in a little bit okay guys we are done time to put our ribbon on on it this is how we start to half see since we're gonna go around twice so we measure it two times and like that you know you have to pull it through to at least to over here I'm gonna make me a little marker on here so I know where, where to stop just very little so nobody can see it there then you grab the other end Look where you joined all your rounds and that's where you want to start start from the top in on one end and come back out on the other end there you go pull through all the way to where our marking is right about here there's plenty to make our bow okay and this is how we're going to work it go in bring it out in bring it out make sure it's not twisted and turned and it's just weaving it in and weaving it back out Weaving it back in. Still got paper on here from the roll it was on there. In. And then the ends, we're going to burn them. That's why I got my little lighter over here. Well, it's not that little. But I call everything little. Okay. In. And out. Can you believe you already finished your head? I wonder how many beginners we have here. I hope I didn't go too fast for you guys. Because I know I have most of my subscribers, they are actually almost professional crochet and knitter. I, I know I got a couple of superstars subscribed, which I feel so honored. You know, the pressure is always on as a newbie, but that's okay. In a couple of months, I too. Can do these videos just like a pro that's what feedback always have there's nothing wrong with some productive and constructive criticism i just don't like them haters i even don't love them too we need haters in order to make it in this business because they're to our customers So we welcome them all except the difference is we just ignore them <laughs> that's the only difference okay we're gonna go in and we're gonna go back out try not to twist your ribbon but i like for them to do like it their own little thing see they do their own little thing doesn't take much crafty work it just easy breezy the key is simplicity because you want it easy for your customer or for yourself if you want to change the ribbon to animal print or just to have a plain black ribbon you want to make this as easy as possible or you'll never wear your head because you think it's just too much trouble changing the ribbon see there okay so now we have this long part and it's like make a cross Go up in here, go in and go out. So now we're doing the opposite. Well, I shouldn't say the opposite, but it almost looks like you can, if you want them to change direction 
and have the ribbon coming this way then what you have to do is you have to come in here and do the opposite let's see here you go in here the cross come out over here and like that now you have where the empty space is you actually have a ribbon going through seems like it's kind of a little bit set off Kind of makes it look neat pretty good too and let them do their thing your ribbon so you just want to have a little twist going on over here there now see it's not that bad when it happens I managed to kind of twist them, don't I? I? Tell you guys not to, and here I am. Now, oh, here we go. Isn't it fun? This making these heads. I just love them, making them. And see, that's the reason why I said they're a little kind of adjustable to a certain degree. If your customer head is a little bit smaller, tighter, you can just pull on them ribbons and make them tighter or loosen it up because it's, it stretches pretty nice. It gives if it needs it to be bigger, you know, maybe because of the hairdo you change. You might want to wear a headband or something without messing it all up so you can love this adjustable little ribbon and you can also wear it without a ribbon if you prefer yeah but it's just so many ways it will always look like you have a whole kind of collection of heads because you can do so many different things with it okay let's see Almost to the end. Who said almost doesn't count? In my book it does. Sometimes it does. Look at here, we made it to the end. And our ribbon is almost even at the end. See? Can you see that? We almost got them same length, close enough. So now we want to bring this one up here and go through here. There's a way to secure it. And guess what? You can go ahead and do your bow. Make it as big. 
hole as little as you prefer okay so once we put our head up on the mannequin and let it rest and let it do its thing sometimes I use the steam a little bit but that's exactly what you're supposed to do to make it a long lasting ribbon and there's your head you're all set guys enjoy it love it have fun with it I know you will what a great addition to your wardrobe don't you think I think so there you go one summer head ready for adventure and now last thing last but least see if you pull on the rim a little bit and on the edge your rim will get its space last but least let's get some pretty ends up because you also got that paper on there from where it was rolled up on the roller so we'll grab it like this make a little snip i'm trying to cut off that piece of paper here and then of course my air conditioner is on let's hope it doesn't blow the frame out and of course it is let me see there see there we go that is so funny with that air conditioner blowing my glider out they call it occupational hazard to the other side and voila oh I went in the wrong direction <laughs> that's not good this is the way we want to go there See if I can stop for that air conditioner. Of course, now the flame got so strong. Let's do it again. We made it blow pretty good. Let's see if I hold it down. There. Yeah. And now your ribbons, they want French. Thank you for watching guys, share, like, leave me some comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all have an awesome day. Bye.